Man, back in New Zealand, I was getting it on with lots of chicks. Who? Hey. Well, uh, Sarah Fitzpatrick, uh, Michelle Fitzpatrick, Claire Fitzpatrick. The list goes on. Well, that was all of them. Well, triple figures. No, that's not triple figures, that's three. Here, though, I, I don't seem to get with any women. I just talk about getting with women. Yeah, but the ones you talk about are hot. They're a lot hotter than the ones you got with in New Zealand. That's true. I do talk about getting with some pretty hot women. You don't just talk about it, man. You talk about it a lot. Yeah, I suppose I do talk a lot about getting with some very hot women. Yeah, but that's, that's it. That's the thing. I've got the job because of no gigs, man. It's a chicken egg situation. What do you mean? What's he, what's he mean, chicken? Well, you know, what came first, the chicken or the egg? Oh, it's irrelevant, isn't it? Causality. Stupid. The chicken, obviously. Oh, well, where did the chicken come from? Well, it came from the... Ah. Oh. You see, the egg. You're the egg. You're a bad egg, all right? You derailed this meeting with another obscure comment. Yes, okay. That's okay. okay. Right, slight delay. And also present, Coco. <coughs> Coco. What, cool. did you, what did you say? Oh, nothing. Just had a bit of a cough. Mm, okay. No, it wasn't real cough. I said Yoko. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, I should go. Why did you say that? Because she's nothing like Yoko. Oh no, she isn't. Jermaine, you're putting oh no together to sound like oh no. Oh no, I didn't. You did it again. Oh no, did I? Did you pick that up? He's All doing right, it. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'll throw the sandwich in your face if you say that again. Brett, don't you dare. Not in my office. Coco, sit down. Let's resolve this. Jermaine, what's the problem? Well, um, Yoko's trying to split up the band. Brett? Jermaine's upset because I um, asked him not to come on our dates and he's misinterpreting his feelings about being left out of the friendship as being about the band. Oh, as if. It's the one I said about Yoko trying to split up the band. Sorry, guys. I just realised I'm late for work. Um, it was really cool seeing you. What are you working on? Splitting up another band. Oh, here! A sandwich at my face. Oh, Brett! Oh, yeah, well, I said I'd throw a sandwich at your face. I've never seen such bad behaviour in one of my meetings. Don't be such a... A dickhead! Yeah, well, I'm quitting this band. Oh, yeah. uh, well, you quit last week. Yeah, well, I'm quitting Don't again. Don't be a quitter, you yeah, can't! Yeah, quitter. Oh, right, well, go on then. You've never been interested in bands anyway, Brett. You only came to one of the band's Rotunda tours. Yeah, I'll see you later, dickheads. You're the dickhead, Brett. Good riddance, eh, Jermaine? Got tomato in my sleeve. See, I told you. Girlfriends and bands just don't mix, Jermaine. You'll never have a girlfriend, will you? Hey Brett, how come you don't tickle me anymore? What? Eh? Oh, I'm just joking. <laughs> Actually, seriously though, you guys are just tickling each other and, you know, it might be nice to include someone else as well. Yeah. What are you up to today, Jermaine? Uh, I don't know. Actually, I'm really bored. Come on, man. you got to get out of here. I'm trying to get on to first base. I live here too. Yeah, but go into days and make some cake or something. I don't like doing that. Yeah, but I can't be tickling all night. I'm not even ticklish. Aren't you? No, I'm faking it. Really? Yeah, she's faking it as well, I think. Well, that's not fair. I'm really ticklish. Oh, Coco told me to tell you you're dumped. Oh. Oh, sorry, man. What? Sorry, she, she said that you're emotionally immature. What else does she say? She said to say that you've been ignoring her and that you're clearly still in love with Sally, which I agree with. Actually. That's not true. She said you'd say that and she said to say, it is true and you know it. Yeah. But, I mean... No buts, she said to say. What did she say, we could talk about it? She said we are talking about it. Well, we're not though, are we? Well, no, I don't know what she meant by that. Well, can we still stay in touch? She doesn't know, she needs some time alone. Well, I mean, I mean, what else can I do? I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. It's too late. It's over. You bastard. What, did she call me a bastard? Uh, no, sorry, I added that bit. Oh, okay. Got carried away. I might just give her a call about it, see what she says. What was that? Well, she told me to do that. I was supposed to start with that, actually. I'm sorry, I forgot. OK, band meeting. Jermaine. <sighs> yes. Yes? Brett. No. What do you mean, no? Not here. You're not here? No. Where are you? No, I was just joking. But you're obviously here, so I'm putting you down. Yeah, as... get on with Right. It. Murray, present. No doubt about it, we'd be getting crazy if one of us was lucky enough to be born a lady. Oh, if one of us was a lady. 
And I was your man, if I was your man We could sometimes it gets lonely And I need a woman And then I imagined you with some bosoms In fact, one time when we were touring And I was really lonely And we were sharing that twin room in the hotel I put a wig on you when you were sleeping I put a wig on you ooh, 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 ooh. And I just lay there and spooned you Oh, Brad, you got it going on So, hopefully that made you feel better can I please have a look at the lyrics? This is another one of your weird songs, man. In what way? Where's that bit? Sometimes I put a wig on you when we're on tour. Put a wig on you? No. I didn't say anything like that. But it's definitely a bit gay. What is? Putting a wig on me while I'm asleep. I think sometimes you hear what you want to hear. It wouldn't be gay to put a wig on a man and pretend they're a woman. How could that be gay if you were pretending they're a woman? Not that I did it. How big's the bus gonna be? The tour bus? Well, this is the tour bus, Jermaine. This isn't a tour bus. It says here we're gonna have a tour bus. No, that, no it's the rugby itinerary, isn't it? Alright, there's only two of you. You're not a big rugby team. You don't need a bus. Oh, I thought we were getting a tour bus. No, that's the rugby itinerary, Brett. Alright? see there I've crossed out bus haven't I? Yeah you crossed out bus and you wrote bus. Yeah I got confused there I didn't know what to do. Honda Accord was too big to fit in the gap there so I put bus back in. I knew as soon as I wrote it there'd be some sort of controversy. Well somebody had a bit of fun last night didn't they? Jermaine. What? Eight dollar can of mixed nuts they must have been pretty good. Got so much buzz out of them that you chucked a television out the window. Has your suit snugged up a little bit? In certain areas, yes. And in other areas, also yes. I just don't understand what happened. I put the handbrake on. Well, that's what happened. The Ameri on American cars, the handbrake's on this side. Oh, I must have just adjusted the oh, seat. Very rock and roll, Brett. More rock and roll than Jermaine. That's what you were going for, wasn't it? Well done. Mission accomplished. First, Jermaine with the mixed nuts. Then the TV. And finally, Brett, you, you drive my... Honda into the pool! Personally, I prefer the mixed nuts caper. At least that was original. Thank you. Well, Mario, I, I didn't actually mean to put your car into the swimming pool. I, di I didn't mean to buy those nuts. Well, I didn't mean to put all my efforts into looking after a couple of leather-clad lunatics who don't give a damn about anyone but themselves. That's my mistake. We all, we've all made a mistake each. So it sort of evens out. No. OK, guys, look. The strategic union of Flight of the Concords and Murray Hewitt Productions is terminated. What are you talking what? about? You know what I'm talking about, I'm quitting. You can't quit the band. Brent usually quits the band. Well, this is my turn, OK? I've had it with you guys. I'm so angry, I feel like swearing. Oh, Murray, you wouldn't swear at us. Go fuck yourself, Brent! <laughs>